Hey, hey, hello everyone and welcome to another episode of my channel. My name is Leader or Lider, however you wanna call me, and today we are back. Not, we are not really back. We are here in a very new speed build uh, on my channel, and I know speed builds weren't a thing on my channel for a very long time, but now uh, they are. Why are they a thing, my, you might ask me? Well, because uh, that is a very small build and I didn't want to make a whole tour episode on it, so I decided to actually uh, record it for you and then make a speed build out of it as uh, now my laptop can and process uh, speed builds uh, in a very fast uh, time, uh, I think I can say it like that. Yes, the, it can process uh, videos really fastly, uh, so that's why I decided uh, to make a speed, speed build. And this speed build is actually a very uh, nice, a very uh, new experience for me, because we are actually learning how to use pieces from the conservation pack. So, uh, the purpose of this build, this little wooden chapel, as you will see in the end, uh, is to make me uh, familiar with the new pieces, how to use them, uh, how to use them in uh, my advantage and maybe in your advantage if you learn something from this video and I really encourage you to uh, learn something from it and uh, take some inspiration from how I use pieces. Maybe you will also find yourself good in uh, wooden architecture because I love wooden architecture in Planet Zoo and uh, it's a shame that people do not do, uh, do it uh, really uh, frequently but well uh, what can I do about it? I can only build my own things. So as I said uh, we are building today a little Asian chapel, uh, Asian themed chapel and the main inspiration for me was the old part of Wrocław Zoo I think uh, and I realized that this uh, was uh, something inspired by Wrocław Zoo after actually building this little thing uh, because uh, I found a nice picture on Pinterest uh, and then I started building and when I have shown some progress on Zoof his Discord and if you aren't on Zoof his Discord well uh, you should definitely check it out, a link is down in the description uh, then w uh, someone suggested that hey you recreated something from the Wrocław Zoo and I was like oh uh, that's nice I didn't know that it is in one of our country's uh, zoos. Uh, so yes, uh, that is uh, what this uh, build is. So a little small Asian chapel which will be located in a nice lush bamboo passage. Bamboo passage as in Ruma Asia. Uh, so yes, uh, one thing I want to say here, no, it's not another episode uh, of Ruma Asia and this is not a teaser for another episode of Ruma Asia. I'm uh, really sorry, but we don't feel like Ruma Asia with Zuf and that's why we are not doing more Ruma Asia. I hope that is very clear and I said it uh, very clear and very loud. So uh, I'm talking about uh, stuff and in the background there is half of the build already on the skin, maybe not half of the build but a, a nice part of it and as you can see we are building one of the support poles for uh, the chapel and as you can see it contains uh, many many pieces but that is just leader style so uh, yeah that's, <laughs> that's why there are so many pieces in there. Uh, and uh, things I wanted to say here, yes, I'm sorry for the cam camera movement, I'm not used to building as other speed builders do, as Caesar creates, I don't know, maybe Zoof, because they have that very slow and smooth camera movement and mine is very uh, rapid and like uh, I, my camera is all over the place and I'm really sorry for that, but that's just how I build and I'm, uh, once again I will repeat that, I'm not used to speed builds. Uh, so uh, now on the screen we are building one of the support poles once again. Uh, as you can see we are making uh, this uh, nice, uh, not overhang, but uh, like a, an extension that will be supporting the roof and uh, the poles that are supporting the roof. So yeah, uh, one way or another it will be supporting the roof. Uh, and it also contains 100,000 pieces. And I cut a small portion of making of uh, this uh, support as it would take longer and longer and I didn't want this video to be very long. Uh, so here a few more decorations and at first I used uh, the European, uh, I don't know, the, the golden thingy that looks like a pier. Uh, but now I changed it to the European fence posts as you can see and I think it's a great piece and uh, despite it being metallic uh, it really nicely fits with wo wood. And as you can see uh, the main piece that we used uh, so far from the conservation pack is this uh, little uh, foot uh, from the pot set and it's a very very nice piece. Uh, first off it's uh, it's not metallic, it's not wooden, it has that very
very nice texture, uh, which is universal for anything uh, you might do. Uh, so that's a good thing. Uh, and it's flexi color, it's very small. Yeah, it's one of the best uh, pieces in that uh, pack. So yes, this is our first conservation pack uh, piece we have used here. We will use a few more afterwards. And uh, yes, uh, as you can see, uh, as you could see, uh, could have seen for the past few minutes, we are experimenting with the limestone brackets from the Europe pack. Uh, I'm also learning uh, some pieces from the Europe pack now. And we are making this uh, nice, like an arch, because in Pines we don't have many wooden arches, so we need to experiment with other pieces and I think the texture on the uh, European limestone brackets is, is it is really good and it fits with the wood perfectly and it matches with the color uh, also uh, so yeah this uh, this would be or this was a great piece to use here uh, one more thing I wanted to say is that the color of the whole build you see currently on the screen uh, won't be the final color uh, I think this one is to I don't want to say a bad word here, but uh, it looks like... No, 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 I don't want to say that. Uh, it's uh, too yellowy, browny color. Uh, it's just too light. Uh, I change it in a couple of minutes to a slightly darker brown, and uh, for me it will uh, look very good and nicer. Uh, and especially that the decorations on this building, so like the arch and the planks that will be coming furthermore in the video, uh, will be this uh, lighter uh, brown color, and then they will nicely contrast with the uh, with the dark brown uh, theming that will be all over the place. Uh, so now we are making planks and it is a shame that we don't have a half a meter uh, tall panzu planks, so I actually needed to use planzu trims uh, to make that, uh, to make uh, it fit and make a nice triangle. Here we are making a little ornament flower out of uh, the, these pot food pieces. Once again, pot feet, maybe? I'm not sure. Uh, I don't want to talk about their name because it does sound really bad. But here is another conservation piece I used uh, for the video and it is the gather piece. Uh, I think that is the gather connector and it looks really nice and makes that nice uh, flower ornament uh, feel to the whole... No, 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 I didn't want to say that. That didn't sound uh, really British, uh, did it? Uh, but well, uh, we are moving on. So as you can see on the screen, uh, the build is in the right brown color now. I will change the color of the uh, decorations uh, soon, I think, in the video, but for now they will be brown like the rest of the build. And here I'm uh, taking uh, the font uh, pieces, which I'm a big fan of, I'm coloring them uh, black, and then I'm putting them uh, below the planks, so uh, the gaps be between the planks aren't that visible, and if they are visible then they are black, and I think that really suits the place. Uh, here a few custom uh, planks, you won't see that they are different sizes and shapes but well uh, I do uh, so that's a good thing for me to know that the uh, underside of this uh, chapel has different uh, sized planks uh, and here we are making uh, the Noto Sans uh, thingy not not a sans thingy but the font thingy so the planks look better uh, one thing i want to say also uh, uh, frontier didn't st uh, still haven't fixed the planks so uh, that they don't uh, they do not render properly like from the distance they disappear but uh, when you are up close they are in their full uh, nice shape but uh, well maybe one day will they will fix it and i don't uh, i won't need to do the uh, the black uh, color under the planks. And as I'm talking, once again, uh, nice things happen on the screen, and I'm using the feet, uh, the pot feet. Oh my god, I need to find an alternative name for them. Uh, maybe we can call them Jones or something. No, no, no. Uh, I'm using them to make uh, planks uh, more. Uh, yeah, uh, more uh, detailed and like carved and I think uh, uh, they really suit and they match the color of the plank so uh, that's a good thing uh, for sure. Uh, one more thing, uh, no, I wanted to say that uh, I'm making the planks detailed as I did in Leśna Ostoja, if you remember that series, that's really good of you, you are a big fan of my, uh, my projects then. Uh, if you don't, uh, there is a playlist on my channel so you can watch Leśna Ostoja, it's a collab with wonderful Zufluencer or maybe not Zufluencer, now 
he, he's called Azuf, and he's a wonderful creator, and we made this little poly Polish reserve in a magical Polish forest environment. Uh, and I wanted to say that I made a very de detailed plank there for the sheep barn, um, sheep petting area, uh, so uh, now we can make them even more detailed with these new uh, feed pieces, which are really cool. One more piece I used uh, for this, uh, from conservation pack that I used while talking uh, was this little half a circle from the cutter set, and I used it for the like the roof and decorations, uh, and I think it gives that a nice detail. And now, uh, it is a very good, fi fun part of this video, because I'm actually making the custom roof, and I'm using this thing. And I'm not sure how it is called. Uh, in Poland, we would call uh, this... Uh, Oh, uh, Spatuka? No, maybe not. No, no, no. I don't know how would we even uh, call it in Polish. Uh, I'm sorry, but this is like a little shovel or something uh, which you use when you are, you plant like uh, things in pots or uh, if you plant any sort of plant. And I found it really nice for this uh, roof because it has that nice shape. And uh, I colored it orange. Some of them I colored colored lighter orange. Some of them I colored darker orange. So there is some variety. And some of them I sunk down uh, slightly, so there is even more variety to the whole thing. Uh, so that's what I did, and I'm really proud of this roof and how many nice pieces uh, <laughs> we used uh, to make uh, this uh, little build. Uh, here I'm working working on the spire of the build, uh, I'm using gutter pieces from the Planet Zoo set, but in the end I won't use them because as uh, gutter pieces from the uh, conservation pack uh, fit with the wood, they are slightly more matte, matte? I think you say it like that. Um, but these are too plasticky, they are too shiny, and I didn't want uh, to use them because they didn't fit. Uh, that's all I wanted to say. And I'm going to use brackets instead because brackets are always cool. And as you can see, this thing will uh, go in a minute, or maybe it won't. Uh, in the final bit, uh, build, it will be replaced with the... Uh, yeah, oh, he here even it will be replaced with the feet, and we are making the spire, and to make the spire we will use uh, the, if I remember correctly, the European, uh, yeah, uh, the European uh, fence posts, uh, and you tilt them slightly so they are slightly more pointy, and uh, they look like wood if you don't uh, look at them uh, very closely. So uh, the whole gallery is starting to take shape. It starts to look like a <laughs> like a little canopy, like a, not canopy, but like a little Asian building. Uh, and Asian architecture is so nice uh, because uh, it has that very uh, rich uh, coloring. And not only coloring, this one is uh, really brown, uh, but it has so many details that I love. And I love building uh, Asian wooden style. And you might already know that uh, after watching some of Ruma Asia. Oh, sorry, I didn't want to do that. Another roof decoration, we are uh, using another conservation pack uh, f uh, piece, and it's also a, gut uh, a piece from the gutter set. And I absolutely adore the gutter set, and this uh, video really has uh, t uh, taught me that uh, I love uh, this gutter set from the new conservation pack, and that I will use it more uh, frequently. And now we are uh, working on the sides of the build, we are uh, using once again European fence posts, but these uh, slightly more detailed ones, uh, and we will uh, repeat the same pattern uh, two times, uh, so it won't be a very long uh, building, it will be just a very short uh, yeah, short, I think that, that is the right word here. It will be a very short building uh, as for the height of it, but uh, I think it will uh, look nicely in the end. As, uh, and uh, as you can see, we are uh, making poles here, uh, repainting that, adding another pole, and that will be basically uh, it for the uh, for the upper wall part. Then we will add the fence on the bottom. Uh, but uh, yes, oh yeah, it is also recorded, that's that's nice. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, my voiceovers aren't that shitty, are they? I'm talking uh, about normal stuff, I'm not talking about uh, the rock placement as some very famous uh, Planet Zoo YouTuber, uh, so I think I'm making a good job despite the fact that I haven't talked uh, to you in English for some time. For over a month? No, for a few weeks uh, actually, because the last video we had on the channel was the showcase of the new pieces uh, in the new pack. Yeah, in the new conservation pack. No, not in the conservation pack. What am, what 
am I even talking about? Uh, from the new free update. And I hope that you really enjoyed that one, because I really enjoyed making that video, and so did I uh, enjoy making this uh, little uh, video. Uh, so yes, uh, we are... Are we nearing the end? Uh, maybe. Maybe we are. Uh, I'm not sure how long this video will take, because... Uh, yeah, I have cut down uh, the whole file myself, but I don't really remember how uh, long uh, have I cut it. Uh, so, uh, yes, uh, I think this video will be overall 25 minutes. Uh, or something maybe slightly less, uh, because there will be also a live portion of the video in which I will uh, talk to you uh, which pieces uh, I used in which places uh, so that uh, you can replicate it uh, in your own Zeus if you want to, if you want to build uh, like arch wooden architecture then you are w very welcome to use the tricks from this video. And now we are copying the one side of the gallery to the other side. Oh yeah, gallery will be a nice word for this place. Uh, and uh, there will be a cut, I think, and boom, the whole gallery should be copied on the other side too. Yes, so it is like a full gallery. Now we are adding few minor details, like the supports here, so the roof is uh, more stable. Um, Stable. Yes, there. Uh, in one video, I had this problem that I didn't know how to call something that is stable because I thought stable is the place for horses, so I ca called it sturdy. But someone in the comments said that one way or another, uh, it's uh, a correct way to talk about uh, something being stable. <laughs> so yeah, we have something stable, but it's not a stable for horses. Uh, oh yes, that was really lame. And here uh, it will be, I think, the last part of the video, and I'm doing a bamboo passage here. So I didn't want to uh, finish this video without uh, making an actual context for the whole build, uh, so this uh, place would have been uh, uh, situated in a little bamboo passage uh, that will be guiding you towards some sort of an Asian area. Uh, and that's the thing I'm going here for uh, with the bamboo. Uh, we will also make uh, supports for the bamboo, so like these planks that will prevent bamboo from uh, growing uh, onto the path and growing too close to the guests, so that there is actual uh, passage for guests to walk through. And we will also add more leaves uh, onto the ground, so uh, to show that bamboo is losing its leaves and making new ones. And we'll also add a rock, rock boundary so that leaves and bamboo doesn't really spill out onto the natural path. Uh, so here is the actual uh, fence I was talking about. I wanted to add uh, these fabric parts to it, but it didn't really work out in the end. So in the end, uh, this fence will, be, will only consist of uh, these uh, slightly rotated uh, parts of planks. And yes, that will be kinda all for this build. Uh, yes, that will be all for this build from the speed, uh, speed build uh, part of it. Uh, so I'm actually going to end the voiceover here. I hope you really enjoyed it. And we will see each other in the uh, real time part in a few minutes. So I wish you a very pleasant uh, watching session and uh, hope to see you in the live portion.
boom and here we are in the live portion of the video uh, and here I will just show you the effects of my building and uh, maybe you didn't really focus on the building part of the video because uh, it was a very shitty voiceover so maybe you focused on uh, me being a clown uh, but now you can uh, see the whole uh, enclosure maybe not enclosure by, but the whole uh, build this uh, little uh, canopy I don't know, maybe it's a canopy uh, just a little Asian building uh, and see what I did here, I will uh, tell you uh, exactly which, which pieces I used and which pieces I learned to use with the new conservation pack. Uh, so uh, here we have some uh, nice, I think, nice bamboo work and then uh, the things that prevent the bamboo from going into different places into different directions, uh, some rocks to also prevent bamboo from going there. If that was a real leader build, I think there would be more uh, there would be more leaves on the ground, but well, uh, I don't care. Okay, sorry. Uh, so this is the whole build, it's like a magical passage, but uh, yes, I prepared this, which is kinda better. Uh, so here we have uh, the whole building. Uh, and here are the pieces I used and uh, they are divided into two categories so like uh, old pieces kinda old and the new pieces I used so from the old pieces I used uh, there is a planet zoo circular beam a planet zoo plank planet zoo normal beam <laughs> uh, the north african uh, beam or uh, like a fence support fence post yes uh, then we have the european bracket limestone bracket uh, bamboo piece uh, European LED cup, I think, yeah. Uh, then we have the European uh, fence posts. Uh, two of them, actually. This is from Europe Pack and this is from Europe Pack. Uh, this is uh, the classical wooden trim. And here is uh, the piece from North Africa Pack, like the uh, wooden thingy four by I don't know. I think it's uh, half a meter. So yeah, this is our, uh, these are the pieces I used uh, for uh, from the old pieces, and from the new pieces I used three, four of the new gutter pieces. So uh, gutter half pipe connection. Um, this is the gutter down pipe bracket, uh, half pipe bracket, and pipe connection. So these are the pieces. Oh my god, I used. Sorry, I didn't know what that was. I also used the uh, the foot uh, from the uh, from the pots, which I uh, overused in this build. And we have the spatula, no, tool trowel, trowel. However, and I used it for uh, oh uh, for the tiles. Uh, so as you can uh, see. I used it for the tiles and you have seen this in the speed build and I think it will be a great piece and it might be slightly overused uh, for that context uh, but yeah uh, it, it's just a great piece uh, so uh, I haven't actually shown them on the video how I make, uh, made them so the little um, decorations in the front are only four pieces each and they are the foots uh, like done like that so I first made it like that and then repeat it into all the, on the other side so it looks like this and I think it has that a very nice effect <coughs> then we have the little tower and for the tower I think you have seen this in the video I haven't really shown you this piece and these are also the uh, foots uh, or feet yeah I'm not a fetishist but uh, the pot feet uh, pot feet like uh, made into a circle so that's how we made this spire uh, these are the roof uh, decorations. You can see that they are roof decorations because they are different than the under uh, the plank decorations and they are made out of this piece. Uh, so uh, gutter pieces and then uh, two of the foot pieces. Once again, uh, this piece is also one gutter piece and uh, filled with three uh, pieces, uh, the foot pieces. So it uh, leaves this uh, nice uh, uh, gaps in here so it looks kind of nice and then we have also more pot feet here uh, which are made into this flower shape and then uh, the gutter piece in the middle uh, so uh, I don't know whether there is anything more to tell you but uh, I must say that I have learned a lot with this little build maybe it doesn't seem like it but I have learned a uh, level 
I have learned a, a real lot with it, uh, especially these new small pieces, they are very useful, and I hope this video inspires you to build something with the new pieces, experiment with them, maybe make them into something that you wouldn't really think they would be great for, because uh, you don't think that plastic or like terracotta is good for the wood, but in this game, as you see, it matches perfectly, you can make very advanced uh, wooden uh, structures with that, and oh, this shot maybe be maybe uh, maybe even better than the previous one. Uh, and yes, uh, one more thing I want to say: when you want to match uh, the plank color with the plank color, plank color uh, with the uh, feet color, uh, use the same one because uh, they really do match. But when you want to match the color of the uh, gutter pieces, you need to slightly change it, but it's not a very big deal. Uh, the same goes for the brackets. If you want to match brackets with the plank or wood color, uh, then um, try uh, to match it, but uh, put like the color of the plank on the bracket, but then adjust it with the uh, color picker. So, that would be all for today's episode, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you learned something with me today, and uh, I'm sorry there haven't been any new videos in a while, but there will be, there is something really exciting to come to the... Uh, there is something really exciting to come to the channel very soon, so keep an eye for that. And I'm going to probably have a new internet connection, which will be really fast, and I will be able to upload with a faster speed than ever before, so me, we might also try leader... Uh, either streams, but I do not promise anything, if it happens, then it happens, uh, so keep an eye on my channel, and I wish you all a pleasant evening, morning, afternoon, whatever the time zone you are here, uh, and whatever time you are watching this video, and I will speak to you in the next episode. Goodbye!